The Detroit brothers are back with BMF Season 3 and are ready to take over a new place and establish their drug business there afresh. Following up from the ending of Season 2, Meech has moved to Atlanta to expand the family drug business, while the other brother Terry stays back in Detroit, handling the business there. As Meech moves to Atlanta, the show welcomes a fresh set of entries, rivals, and competition based in the new place, where Meech's new life starts. Right with the opening of the episode, we see Meech in the new city of Atlanta, meeting with acquaintances of T and getting along with them about the business. However, it's not going to be a smooth ride for him, as what awaits him are already established drug dealers who see him as a potential competitor and threat. Meech is going to face new rivalries in the new city, as the first episode already introduced some rivals to him. Terry remains back in Detroit to manage the established BF business and take care of family and siblings. However, other than these, Terry is also occupied with his own personal life and his new relationships. The beginning of the episode showed an injured Markisha, whose life was dangerously at stake, and it deeply affected T. Hearing of the shots opened up at Terry when his family, including Bulwanda, visited the hospital. A heated argument opened up between the two regarding his relationship with Markisha. In the middle of the episode, when Detective Jin reaches out to Markisha for an investigation and asks her to come clean about Terry's real business, Markisha denies them any answer. Hence, she chooses to be loyal to Terry, and in one scene, they even plan on living together in a new home with their family and making new memories. Thus, we see Terry here interested in Markisha, so much that he is ready to sacrifice himself for her protection. However, Meech and his family are not equally happy with his relationship with Miss Taylor. In the complete episode, we see Detective Bryant trying his best to get his teenage son out of the cell, but he is unable to do anything effective yet. While he tries his best, it becomes hard for him to see his son behind bars while Meech and his family are out and living free. By the end of the episode, we see his son being shifted to a juvie, and this breaks the detective a little bit. But now that Meech is out of Detroit, Bryant's target for revenge is going to be his brother, Terry, and he is all set for revenge as we see him burning a photo of T with his cigarette. After Lucille caught her husband Charles cheating, she sought divorce, and in the new season, she moves ahead with her decision. Though Charles tries to change her decision about divorce, she stays firm in her decision. However, by the end of the episode, we see the two agree to live in the same house following Charles' inability to afford new housing at the moment. Even when the brothers are miles apart, that does not make the big brother any less protective of his siblings and family. Either from afar, Meech stays in contact with Terry and keeps track of his every move. He orders the others on the Detroit team to not let his brother get his hands dirty, as in, not let him handle any killings himself as it could pose a threat. Thus, Terry got Saint killed, but not himself. By the end of the episode, we see Terry bringing his new girlfriend, Markisha, home to keep her safe for a night. It upsets Lawanda, and when T's parents tell him to stop lying to two women, Terry breaks out the news of moving out of the house soon. Would Terry's decision to move out of the family be safe for him and his family? How would Meech react to it?